Today on Shout Out Loud for Jesus, I am Minister Benjamin Octavia Sim. Today our guest is Valika Roundtree, sitting to my right. Today we are talking about battered relationships. So anybody out there, whether you're a female or a male, you've been in a battered relationship, you know, my sister right here, Valika Roundtree, she have a story that can tell you how to get out of it and how to be strong and stay through it. So, uh, Sister Roundtree, tell us about your story. State your name and tell us about your story and how it all begins and how you got out of it. Well, my name is Valika Roundtree. Uh, I was in that battered relationship many, many, many years ago, way back in 1997. I went through it, got out of it, and got back into the relationship. And out of that relationship, I had a son. We Did the abuse continue after you had your son? It didn't start until after I had my son. Okay. And like what are some of the abuse that you went through with this relationship? Well since he drunk a lot and loved to go out to clubs and stuff, he wasn't coming back in until like four o'clock in the morning. He thought I was sleeping with other guys. He thought I was doing a whole lot of stuff that I wasn't doing. And me, I used to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to get ready for work. And he was one guy that I used to hang around with every day. He was my best friend. Anybody could talk to him because he would, that's how he was. He had that kind heart. And he thought me and him were sleeping together and he wasn't. He thought I couldn't have any male friends. You can't have no, any male friends in this relationship. I can't have no male friends. He didn't want my family members coming around. Nothing. Hmm. That's sad. So, was he out doing stuff? And so, the accuser always accusing? You know, the accuser always accusing. They always doing something. They always doing something. So, what's one of the most tragic times during this relationship that really, you know, you just really got to that point where you said, I can't take this no more, you know? Well, back in... 2004, we were having a birthday party at my sister's house, mm -hmm. and I come back to the house that night to get some asthma medicine for my nephew, and he was with his friends, and when he come in, I told him that I didn't want him, his friends, in the car no more that I bought, I paid for it, mm -hmm. and he got mad at me, he got to fight. Mm -hmm. We threw stuff back and forth at each other. Mm -hmm. He picked up a chair and hit me in my eye. So is this the cause of your blindness in one of your eyes now? Yeah. So how, how does that affect you now? Like, uh, do you have like memories of that? Or? Well, it's hard because Knowing that I have to have my kids do everything for me. And I have to have other people read stuff for me because I can't see it. My eye swells up. Um, it, stays well. it, it swells up during the summer when it's too hot. And just knowing that you got to have somebody else dependent on you and you know some people get tired of doing stuff for you a lot and you got some people that don't and I thank God for them people that helped me you being, being one you. and my sister Shannon when I need someone to take me somewhere to fill out papers for me Y'all too, and Greg too. Y'all always there for me to help me when I need help. It get days where I can't even read a message on the cell phone. I can't even type a message on the cell phone sometimes because it's so hard to see the keys. I can't read a book. So how... Like, how was your relationship with God back then, and how is your relationship with God now? Back then, I didn't go to church. I worked every day back then. Mm -hmm. Every day. I had probably one day off, maybe. 
but those days, some day I didn't, I didn't want to stay at home because, because the, the relationship abuse. was so bad. I didn't want to stay at home. So you tried to work hours I over was just to keep from over going home. not to go home. He was like he wanted to have sex twenty four seven, and that so much for a person. I got where I got sick. I got real sick for three months, and. The doctors told me that if I get sick again like that, with my period being messed up, that I'm going to have to have a hysterectomy. Which, they're kind of good because I won't have to have any more kids, you know. But I was happy the day the police came to my house and picked him up. Mm -hmm. That was the happiest day of my life. So how has your relationship with God that you pray back then? Like you pray now? No, I didn't. I didn't even have a Bible in the house back then. Okay. But so, I was so happy. I'm so happy God took him out of my life. I wouldn't wish him on now another woman. Okay, so um, what is your...